Welcome to episode seven of Project W, where we are taking you on a journey to create more opportunities, sales, and growth for your business using walmart.com. We are showing you how to sell your Amazon products on walmart.com using these same simple methods. I'm Carrie Miller with Helium 10. And I'm Tim Jordan with Private Label Legion. And in this episode, we're gonna take everything that we've showed you already to build your listing and actually doing it on screen. Here we go. Here we go. All right, so we've shown you a lot up to this point. We've got your account open, we've got your images put together, we've got your copy written correctly, we've got all the details of our product, of our listing, and now it's time to actually put it into the seller center portal of walmart.com and actually get our first listing together. So Helium 10 here has, of course, a Walmart store that we're showing publicly, we'll say. And if you look at the screen here that Carrie's got pulled up, we've obviously got the Manny's Mysterious Oddities coffin shelf that we've been playing with to kind of mm -hmm. figure out how this marketplace works. But it's time to add an egg tray. Yeah, okay. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is when you're logged into your seller center account, you're gonna click on items under product catalog. And that is where all these items will show up. And then what you're gonna do is simply just go to add items and add single item. Now, if you wanted to add it in bulk, there is a way to do that, but we're not gonna go over that today. We're just gonna show you how to add a single item. So what we're gonna do is, um, I've actually got this particular page open to create our listing. And I'm just gonna copy the title first, and I'm gonna paste the title here. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna select GTIN. I recommend doing all of your uploads with a GTIN because, or a GTIN, what do you say, Tim? GTIN. GTIN. I say GTIN. Some people say GTIN, um, but basically everything you do on the back end of Seller Center is with a G GTIN, so you're gonna wanna just upload it that way right, right from the beginning. So I'm actually gonna just type in our GTIN um, right here. Again, really, really high tech, fancy pieces of paper. Yeah. Um, and then what you do next is you're going to actually select your category, okay? So um, I do think that this is going to be in kitchen category. And make sure that you get these categories right because if you don't get these categories right, you may not show up correctly, right? It's mm -hmm. exceptionally, exceptionally important. I think uh, the category is going to be home, decor, kitchen, and other. Yep. Okay. So then once we've done that, we've got all these other boxes boxes to fill in. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to put a unique SKU in there for that product. And I have that all written out. And the SKU does not have to be the exact same as the SKU that you use on Amazon. If you have your own custom SKU, it can be the same, but this is totally for your in-house internal referencing and tracking, right? You can completely make something up or use something that makes sense so you know what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna just copy the description in here. Okay, so we've got the description. The brand name is, um, I'm gonna put geese in there because we're just changing That's it That's how we put in the bit. title, yeah. Um, okay, oopsie, recommended. So here we go to a lot of these attributes and other things that you wanna fill in as much as possible. So there's no Prop 65 warning small parts warning, we don't have any small parts. The country of origin is it's gonna be imported. So make sure you put that put this in here. Is it USA, is it USA and imported? Is it just USA? Just that would be like for is. bundles would be the selection. It is wood, but it's not composite wood. And we actually do need to do that because we will be telling the listing this is wood and they wanna make sure that that is actually an accurate assessment of what it is or what it isn't. Okay, so this fulfillment lag time here is just the amount of time that it's gonna take you to actually fulfill and then ship the item. So since we're actually doing seller fulfilled first, um, not Walmart fulfilled um, services, we're actually gonna just put uh, two days there just to give us a little bit of time to get it all together and fulfilled, especially if it's the weekend. And this is almost like a placeholder, like we're just kind of telling Walmart how long we think it should take. You'll actually adjust this when we get into the fulfillment section uh, based on what you're capable of doing and you can adjust it. This is just setting up the listing. They just wanna know that you know we're not at six months out or something like that yeah. before we get this started. Okay, and the next section here is key features. You're gonna add these one at a time. So I'm just gonna paste the first one. I actually already copied that one. Okay, so we've got it all in there. 
And it has an example right here. It just shows you what you need to do. You don't need to add the bullets in there. So no. price per unit. So this is an interesting part because I actually think that l later on I want to add a clearance tag to this. So I actually want to price it a little bit higher and then discount in on clearance. So I'm going to actually put this one. Uh, let's see if we go to our Amazon listing. It's priced at, I think, 17. 1747. 1747. Let's make okay. it like. I was thinking 25. Yeah, 24.99. All right, so for the price, we're gonna put 24.99 in here. We're like a little less than 18 dollars on Amazon, but Carrie loves putting in the clearance section where it strikes out the price and puts mm -hmm. a less expensive option. You can play with this later. You can go into your catalog and adjust the price. It's not the end of the world if you don't know exactly what you want it to be right now. Just make sure when you initially load it, it's not it's really expensive or really really cheaper. You might have our time changing that later. I'm going to put the MSRP here as $24.99 yep. as well. Manufacturer's name is Gies. And then there are no electrical components. Oops. I'm actually going to just put the same as uh, mm -hmm. my SKU for the manufacturer part number. Yep. Battery type, there is no battery. I don't think that. We need to put anything there. Click it Does not contain a battery. Does not contain a battery. Thank you. Uh, model number. Can um, be the same. Again, this is just ours. If we were selling like electronics or hard drives or something, all this stuff would really matter. Not a humongous issue right now. It does not contain chemicals, aerosol, or anything Container like that. Container per pack is one. One. Multi pack quantity one. One. Let's see, total count. The number of identical items in the package. One. One. Ships and rules of packaging, yes. Number of pieces. One. One. Color. Brown. This is a uh, natural. Beige probably is a color. Brown. Brown. Do brown. I think we could do two. Yep. Let's just do both of those because yep. it's like more rustic. Must ship alone. Ship alone? No. no. And where must ship alone would be if it were like a uh, hazmat item or something. And it says accent color. There is no accent Secondary color. Secondary product color, no. It's all one color, so. Yep, we can leave that blank. External product identifier is. Um, now this is interesting where they're actually adding an ASIN. You see the ASIN in here? So we can actually indicate mm -hmm. the actual ASIN from Amazon. And we suggest you doing that because they like transparency. They like knowing that we're all kind of on the same team here, showing everybody what we're doing. Maybe they want to check those prices or maybe want to make sure that this is a legitimate product that's being sold elsewhere, which isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but we definitely want to show that. Click that again. You, you accidentally grabbed that, okay. Nope. Pattern, there's no pattern, so leave I'm gonna that leave blank. that blank. Material is wood. Yep. Should I do? I wonder if I should do what exact type of wood. Finish is natural. Size is? 12. 12, 12. hole. Home decor style. I would say rustic. Yep. Um, and then because we told it what category and it's asking some of these stuff, so like curtain panel style, we're gonna leave that blank. We're only gonna answer the things that are really relevant to our product. And we're going to start seeing a lot more of these as we scroll down, just because we did say we are in the home category, um, the home goods category. We might actually be able to find more decor style names for this. So this is kind of bare right here. We could probably add some more there. Uh, and then Let's curtain length. Simple. Slot width. Rug style. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep scrolling down. Rug style. Nope. No, it's Ignore not all this stuff that doesn't really matter for this product. Keep going. Material shape. Rectangle. Bed style. Nope. 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 There's a lot of curtains and bedding here. Thread count. Nope. This is NA, so should I... Okay, lightning fax label nope. image. Keep going. 
Lamp type, scent. Is it pet friendly? No, You're, this is not for your pets. Recommended use, egg storage. And then for cleaning care and maintenance, I would put hand, uh, hand wash and dishwasher safe. Power type, no power. Okay, so assembled product length, width, and height. This is obviously already assembled. You would think this question has more to do with like furniture they're going to assemble, but um, this should transfer over to the listing, the actual dimensions. So we're going to go ahead and put it anyways. 3.75, 0.75. And then we're going to select inches on all of those. And then the weight. One pound. One pound. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Occasion. Collection, occasion, contaminants, theme. There's a lot of, these are attributes. And if you actually don't fill in some of these and you need to, they'll actually tell you. Yeah. So there's not a whole lot of worry there when it comes to this. Age group, gender. Capacity, 12. 12 eggs. <laughs> Let's see what the example says. Oh, four chickens. Four chickens. What? How funny is that? All right. So we've come down to the bottom of this thing and select on this other tab up here that uh, Carrie just hit for imagery and media. And it's right here. So we have item contents, imagery and media, and then later we'll have offer. Just so you can see what that looks like because sometimes it's easy to miss that stuff. So now we're going to add our images. Now, because we already had this on Amazon, of course, we had very professional, photographs taken. If you feel like you need to go out and have new lifestyle photos taken or something like that, that's perfect, perfectly okay. But remember this case study is just getting what you already have and moving it over. So we already have good photos, that's what we're gonna use. Okay, so here we have all the images uploaded here, uh, ready to go. All right, so click that offer tab up there. Let's finish this thing up. There's a lot of things in here that we don't have to fill in. If long we put in the selling price and the shipping weight, then we should be good. Yep, you see how the little tab up here turned green. That tells us that we are ready to go. Then we're gonna hit the submit changes button at the bottom. All right, so it's gonna take a little bit of our time for our listing to pop up. We're actually gonna wrap up for today and we're gonna be back tomorrow. It'll still be this episode, so we're not going anywhere, but as soon as this finishes populating overnight, then we're gonna be able to pull up the LQS, which is a listing quality score tool. We'll show you what the listing looks like and then we'll wrap up this episode. So we'll see you guys in a different outfit Yeah. in about one second starting now. Well, that was the weirdest second of my life. Oh, yeah, it was a really long second, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, so overnight our listing populated and it's actually in the seller center section of walmart.com. Mm -hmm. We can see everything that we've got going on. One of the coolest things about Walmart is they love giving us as sellers information. They give us feedback, they give us advice, and they tell us what we're doing well or what we're doing probably less than well on our listing. Yeah. And that is the listing quality score tool that they have embedded in Seller Center. So now that our listing's pulled up, let's get on the screen here and actually see what Walmart thinks of our listing. Yeah, let's take a look. All right, I actually already pulled it up on the Growth Opportunities tab. So when you're in Seller Center, just go to Growth Opportunities. Um, it's under the analytics tab, ma main tab. And then you can click on there and see. And if we take a look at our um, listing that we just put up, our listing quality is at 24%. Right? That's horrible. Yeah. The bad news is our listing Walmart thinks is kind of garbage, right? <laughs> Only 24%. But it's really important for all of you to see this. We'll get into the details here in just a second and look at some of the recommendations and things like that. But what we have found is that Walmart takes a little bit of time to figure out what our listing is supposed to be, right? What is the product? Is it in the right category? Is it converting? So when you first set up a listing, it's not uncommon at all to have a terrible LQS. Just understand that that's perfectly normal. It's very, very typical. And you really need to start getting some sales and getting some clicks on your listing before they can figure out what you're mm -hmm. supposed to be, right? So if we click on the details here, it's gonna show us exactly what we need to do. So um, we've got all this information up here that's you know just about our product. And then here's the total breakdown. The listing quality is 24%. Content and discoverability, we got 97%, which is, that means that's pretty good. We did a pretty good job with our content. 
Um, the offer is a 0%. We, we haven't really put that together yet. Honestly, we haven't put the shipping in and we haven't even put any inventory in there. And then ratings and reviews, we don't have any ratings and reviews currently. So, so that it does probably means it. that the majority of what we're doing yeah. is good, right? Yeah, definitely. There's no reviews yet. So um, we can work on that later and we are going to talk about reviews. So if we take a look down here, they actually, they will tell you exactly what it is that you need to edit. So something that I used to say is, hey, I recommend you check back with this every week because it does have new recommendations, but they're actually, I saw a pop up that said yesterday actually that you can actually set up notifications. So um, that's, that should be coming soon. So keep your eye on that so that you can notify yourself about your listings if there's a change you need to make so you can get on it really quickly. Um, okay, so when we look at this, so in the product title it says, not relevant to the assigned product type. The title needs to contain a key subject word or phrase indicating it's relevant to its assigned product type default. So what I think what we'll have to do if this doesn't change or kind of fix itself is we'll have to open up a ticket in order to fix this. So um, we still have a score of 91% there. It's not that bad. Um, but that's something that's extremely important though to get yeah. in the right product type so that you can have the keywords that are uh, relevant to your product connecting to that product type. So And everything else is 100%. So our descriptions, our key features, our images. So we basically did what we were supposed to, all the mm -hmm. other discoverability things. Just the only thing bringing our total kind of average down is the offer, which we don't really have our offer set up yet. And then our ratings and reviews, which are yeah. obviously zero. So again, don't panic. Look in the details and specifics. And as we make some sales and as we get some reviews, mm -hmm. that number should go up. But it is nice knowing that they like everything else that we've done so far. That's yeah. kind of uh, encouraging. And the first time I did this, I had so many issues because they wanted me to fill in all these attributes that I just didn't fill in. So I feel like we did pretty well the first time around here because we filled in as much information as we possibly could. And even though so. we get this note saying that it's not mm -hmm. relevant to the assigned product type, our suspicion is once we get a few sales and it kind of indexes out a little bit better in their back end algorithm, it'll determine, hey, it is what it's supposed to be. There's no problem. Yeah. But again, if we wanted to change a category, in fact, we went and looked at some of our competitors' categories early this morning, and they have some different category types and we're even in the drop-down menu. Yeah, it, I think that it just, they, they kind of choose that for you after it you choose more, the main category. Yeah, yeah, so um, I'm gonna work on that over time. So we'll keep you updated on that. Yeah, and again, if you want to change that subcategory, <laughs> you should be able to open up a ticket and do that. All right, so we actually have a listing going. We see that we did a pretty good job, I would say, and we've got a few other things to continue to cover. So to review, in this episode, we showed you how you can upload your listings one by one via Seller Center. And we showed you how to show and fill in all the details, and then we also showed you how to analyze your listing quality score. If you wanted to view all of the episodes for Project W, you can go to helium10.com slash Project W. And on the next episode, we're gonna get into one of the most important and probably interesting aspects of this entire case study, which is ranking and how to get your products to show up organically for those search terms that we were targeting. See you guys on the next episode.